Welcome. This is the best practices video where you'll get an idea of what to see in classrooms for this unit. Take a look. What do you notice? Hopefully you're thinking about rounding. In this fifth grade unit, you will see students rounding multi-digit numbers to different place value positions. Here you see the key learning goal for this unit where students will be working with decimals up to the thousandths place and they're going to be rounding to the nearest hundredth, tenth, or whole number. So what should we see happening in the classroom? Well, in the beginning, we could see students using base 10 blocks or place value disks. We could also see students using place value grids or a place value chart like what's shown on the slide. We should also see students using number lines. For example, the picture shown here shows a student trying to round two and 94 hundredths by using those two benchmark numbers. These could be examples of MTRs or mathematical thinking and reasoning standards two, three, five, or six. And as students become more efficient with rounding, they're getting a deeper understanding of place value and number sense to start to develop and use their own algorithm or procedure for rounding. What kind of conversation should be taking place in the classroom? Here you will see some math chat questions from the STEM Scopes Explore lessons. Questions such as these can not only show students' understanding of rounding, but also help them discover ideas like this first question, where the higher the place value position they round to, the less accurate the rounded number, because as they round to a higher place value position, the farther away from the original number it becomes. Or this last question, when deciding the best place value position to round to, it would depend on the situation. The more accurate you needed to be, the lower place value position you would round to. And a reminder that the MTRs are how students demonstrate their understanding of mathematics. These questions can show MTRs 1, 4, or 5, since questions like these give students the opportunity to justify their own thinking and reflect on their classmates' thinking. This list shows some of the vocabulary words we should hear throughout this unit. These are from the STEM Scopes parent letter. And since this is a rounding unit with emphasis on decimals, these are the kind of words that can help students be more specific when explaining their thinking. Throughout this unit of study, we should see multiple opportunities for students to show their understanding. This could be students demonstrating their knowledge of running to different place value positions during the Explore lesson, with the exit taken as a follow-up, or their show what you know work afterwards, Students could also show their understanding on the standards-based assessment or through a fluency builder. These are examples of formal and informal assessment that a teacher can use to gauge a student's understanding, and they were all examples from the STEM Scopes resources. These can also show MTR 3 and 7, and I want to point out MTR 7. With these resources, they are given opportunities to apply rounding to real-world situations. Here you see two questions that teachers, administrators, or parents could ask of the students to gauge their understanding of content. These questions are found on the benchmark pages on SMASMARTS that can be found by clicking on any of the benchmark links on the instructional guides. One of the MTRs that it could highlight would be MTR 3, where you see if they are answering these questions correctly and efficiently. Here is an activity from the STEM Scopes parent letter that is meant to be an engaging way that students can continue their learning at home. This activity will connect rounding to the real world, which shows MTR 7, since students are asked to find decimal numbers when they are out and about and think about when they would want to round those numbers. Thank you for listening to this unit's best practices video. Hopefully through the students' experiences throughout this unit, they will show proficiency with rounding decimals, understand the importance in relation to the real world, and have a better understanding than this kid.